YouTube, what's going on? Fistle Legend here. I want to take a look at a couple of my Strider Custom Knives. These are both mixed Strider Customs. I would have to say that in terms of Custom Knives, Striders are probably... I mean, Strider Knives are probably at the top of my wish list. I really, really like what they offer. Um, I think Mick and Dwayne are both just crazy talented in their abilities and in their imagination. I love the variety of models that they offer and I love the variety of blade steel that they offer. It's really, it really makes it fun as both a collector and a user. I mean, you have, you have endless, you know, you have endless options in what you want. And I really like that. There's other knife makers out there that I really, really like. And of course, needless to say, there's a ton of talented knife makers out there. For me personally, Strider is definitely kind of at the top of the game, along with uh, some other some other ones out there. So uh, needless to say, Striders are ones that I actively kind of go after. So neither one of these are users for me. I do have uh, quite a few Strider users that I carry around. Uh, like I've said before, I don't, I don't. I'm not a hard use dude, you know what I'm saying? I don't my job does not require me to be out there in the in the elements uh using a knife hard every day. I I just use them for everyday little menial tasks. So I could probably carry these, but I don't choose to. I have other knives for that. But in any case, uh I'll just take a look at these real quick. The one on the bottom is an MSC Mixed Strider Custom SMF. Alright. Uh it's a nine inch blade overall, five inch handle, four inch blade. So it's definitely a big a big uh it's definitely a big knife all right and i have the lock sides facing the camera right now and you'll see that they're both titanium uh orange peel textured anodized on the smf right here and take a look at it this blade's got a lot of lint on it this is a cpm 3v steel i don't know if you can see that right there and 3V has got great retention and great durability, however, it's not so good with corrosion resistance, so I keep it oiled up, and of course, that oil is attracting every little piece of lint, as you can see right there, but what are you going to do? Yeah, look at all that lint. I believe that uh, I talked with Dwayne at the Blade convention, uh, the Blade show, a few months ago, and he told me that CPM 3V is about three times, uh, three times more durable than S30V, but that it's much easier to corrode than S30V. So, you know, you've got give and take. You know, you might um, what is it? The van vanadium, I think, vanadium 3V, vanadium. I'm not even going to start acting like I know anything about metallurgy, but it's got an element in it that while it makes it vandium or something like that, let me just shut up. <laughs> let me just shut up while I'm ahead because I know there's going to be some genius that's going to come on and blast me for it. So let me just, I'll just stop it right there. Go check out my man over at Neptune Knives because uh, that cat really knows what's going on with blade steel and he'll really let you know what the deal is with that. I don't even know and I'm not even going to pretend to know. Alright, so we'll just we'll just rewind the tape and pretend I never said anything about it. My point was is that because it is uh it does have the uh property of, of being able to corrode and rust, I keep it oiled up and that's why there's all the lint on the blade. Alright. So that was a good five minute explanation of nothing. You see the mixed strider acid at signature right there? It's got the concealed carry G10 texture. I'm not a fan of this, I have to say, uh, for me personally. Uh, there's a lot of people that love it. For me, it's just too slippery. And while, like I said, while I said, uh, man, I'm just stumbling over my words right now. I'm just trying to get this out too fast. But not, en not enough uh, grippiness for me. If I did ever have to have a knife, primarily as a defensive tool, which is what I would carry a knife this size for, I would want something that feels a little more secure in my hand than this smooth orange peeled titanium and this really thin smooth G10 texture but since this is a collector for me that's neither here nor there All right. a nice compound grind six grinds total one two three four five six 
and any of you who are Strider uh, collectors or users or you know who have Strider knives I'm sure you all know this as well as I do that the quality of Strider knives just goes up and up every year I mean that's a true testament to how much these guys are dedicated to their craft because they just keep getting better and better I mean these grinds look at that I mean you can really tell no difference from one side to the other just almost perfect symmetry so they're really doing big things over at Strider alright so that's the SMF and then it's Big Brother and it's about 10 percent larger in size this is the XL S and G alright and this is really a pretty knife Right. sculpted titanium also anodized and then sculpted carbon fiber on the other side let's get it to focus see that nice weave texture in the carbon fiber now texture wise I do like this this feels really good in the hand and if I was to carry it uh, I would have no problems uh, in terms of confidence in my grip but like I said neither one of these I don't carry either of these there are people I know people personally who do carry their mixed rider customs I don't these are just collectors alright this is S30V steel and this blade is two-tone so you'll see the flats are stone washed and then satin grinds nice recurve blade I saw this one and I had to have it. That's just beautiful work. Look at that. Got a little lint on it as well. I keep this one oiled up as well. What are you going to do? Alright. Nice two tone pivot. Polished, two toned. Nice little attention to detail subtle but nice I think the only thing that would really make this pop for me would be if they had done something different with the uh, the hardware be nice to have like some polished hardware but that's you know that's whatever that's just you know that's me pipe dreaming right now this is a beautiful knife alright in terms of comparison between the two you'll see let me line up the thumb studs Alright, so there the thumb studs are lined up. And you'll see the stock, the blade stock is pretty much identical. Alright. Then you'll obviously you see the obvious difference in length. Alright. And then you'll see that the SMF, the smaller knife, uh, which is still a 9 inch knife, so by no means is it a small knife, but the smaller knife you'll see that it's all satin, both the flats and the grinds. Alright, where this is the two tone. And then the smooth anodized versus the sculpted anodized. Sculpted carbon fiber versus the concealed carry G10. Alright, in terms of lockup nice and early on both right down the middle with the very narrow profile that concealed carry you'll see the thumb stud stick out a little bit which is nice if that's what you're into if you like a real slim profile that you really can't feel in your pocket then this is the one for you you know, if you want a little more texture, a little more grippiness, this definitely isn't the one for you. But if you want a real thin profile knife that just hides, you know, it just disappears in your pocket, the concealed carry is the one for you. Alright. Again, nice early lockup. Right down the middle. Just perfect tolerances. 
top notch in terms of fit and finish. All right. And obviously width is a little bit more substantial in the XL. And you have a little bit more material on, on each side to be able to achieve the texturing, the sculpted texturing on each. All right. If I line them up at the top. All right. All right, YouTube, that's it. Just a quick look. Got a couple of beautiful pieces of work by Mick Strider. I'll have to pull out a couple of the uh, Dwayne Dwyer customs to, to give uh, equal spotlight. Because <laughs> they're both doing real big things. They're both crazy talented and really superior. You know, they really put out superior tools, pieces of art, whatever you want to call them. They kind of fit a lot of different categories. Alright YouTube, that's it. As always, be safe and God bless.